problem with epidermolysis below zero is that the skin blisters and we all heal by scar tissue. Um, and on the hands, um, the scar tissue builds up between the fingers, causes them to fuse together um, and the hand to contract and ultimately become non-functioning unless there are devices that are used regularly, daily, um, to stop this from happening. What I've noticed, the dressing glove is actually keeping the moisture better in the hand, so it's less dry. Um, when I take the gloves off, the skin is more healthy looking. It's not so dry and flaky and, and it doesn't peel as much, um, if that makes sense. The whole experience is much better now, so I do, we do the dressing changes every other day and it's just a 10 minute work, yes. Whereas before it was an experience for about 25 minutes per hand, now it's about 10 minutes per hand, yeah. So it's, a, it's a very easy for me, yeah. So it's, it's really important to know that what we're doing in terms of treatment is effective and are our splints working? Are we maintaining results as much as we can in EB? Um, currently we can't do this because the you know, if people have dressings and, and because of the contractures it's quite hard to tell um, which joint you're actually measuring and we have outcome measures in hand therapy but they're not really specific enough for people with EB. Yes, the clinicians say that um, they would like to be able to chart um, the, the whole uh, tra trajectory of epidermolysis below zero from birth, taking advantage of digital technology. Um, this is exactly what the hand therapy online system can do.